how to pay off your mortgage fast and save a lot of money while doing it. That's the topic of my next video. How to pay off your mortgage faster and save thousands of dollars while doing it. That's the topic of this video right now. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Schreier, and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here on Long Island, New York. Saving money. Everybody wants to do it, particularly in the economy we're in right now. I'm going to share with you some tips that you can use now to start paying down your mortgage, build equity in your property, and be much less stressed at the same time. Number one, refinance. That's right. Refinance if you are if you have a current mortgage rate that's significantly higher than what we have right now. We are at a 50-year low in mortgage rates, hovering below 3% as of the filming of this video. So contact your accountant or your financial professional and ask them if it's cost effective for you to refinance. That would be my first tip. Number two, prepay your mortgage. Why prepay the mortgage? Prepaying your mortgage will build equity in your particular house. What does equity mean? Well, basically, if you took out a loan for $400,000 and the selling price or the, the price you purchased your house was $500,000, that means you owned, when you purchased it, $100,000 worth of that house. One-fifth of the house you owned. Who owned the other? The bank. The bank owned the other $400,000 worth of your home. So you want to make sure you're building equity and you start owning more and more of that home as time goes on. If you have a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, you're telling the bank you're taking 30 years to pay off that loan and very, very baby steps, I'd say, you are actually starting to own more and more of that property. In the first many years of paying off your mortgage, you're probably, you're just paying off interest. You're not building any equity in the property at all, something to, to understand. There's many resources online where you can uh, Google uh, mortgage calculators and see the am amortization of your particular loan and see how much of the house you actually own. Now, if Property values are going up. That's a wonderful thing because you're actually building equity without paying off your property. But if property values go down, which they do every now and then, then your house is now having less equity on it and you don't want to be in that situation. So prepay the loan. I'm going to share with you what I did. I actually prepaid my loan because I was at a um, seven-year mark where I had about seven years left on my loan on a 15-year fixed rate mortgage that I had. So I was saying to myself, should I prepay or should I refinance? Well, when I took in all the closing costs that I needed to pay in the mortgage at that time or for the refinance, it was more cost effective for me to prepay the loan. So what I did was I took that seven years that I had left and I basically did a automatic refinance by myself or a do-it-yourself refinance where I paid off those seven years in three years. Didn't cost me any closing costs. So all that money in closing costs, I was able to apply to the loan. And I actually was able to pay that loan down. And that's something you can do for free. Doesn't cost you anything to prepay. Now, one thing you need to understand is naturally you need to make yourself a budget and you need to stick to it because the hardest part for most people is being able to stick to that same routine of paying it off every month. What you can do is a principle that I have learned years ago. Pay yourself first. Make sure when you have and when you, whenever you get a paycheck or something, you have money automatically deducted into a bank account or maybe you can even set up where the bank will automatically send, this is your savings bank or checking account, would automatically send to your mortgage uh, people the extra prepayment that you'll pay every month. So it's automatic. You don't even need to think about it. That prepayment will not only save you money in building equity, but like I mentioned before, save you thousands of dollars in interest that you don't have to pay. And I know I'd rather have that money sitting in my bank account than in the bank account of my mortgage company. So I hope this was helpful. 
Again, my name is Mark Schreier. I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next video. Oh, my God.